Yiperek Hatonai Vishmareka Hayadana Puna Aleka Vihuneka Yesadona Puna Aleka Vishim Leka Shalom I give thanks before you, King, living and eternal, for you have returned within me, my soul, with compassion, abundant is your faithful. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with, the, with his commandments, commended us concerning the washing of the hands. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who formed man with wisdom and created within him many openings and many hollow spaces. It is obvious and known before your seat of honor that if even one of them would be opened or if even one of them would be sealed, it would be impossible to survive and to stand before you even for one hour. Blessed are you, Adonai, who heals all flesh and acts wondrously. My God, the soul that you placed within me is pure. You created it. You formed it. You breathed in it into me. And you preserve it within me. And in the future, you will take it from me and restore it in the time to come. All the time that this soul is within me, I am thankful before you, Hashem, my God, and the God of my fathers, ruler of all creation, Lord of the souls. Blessed are you, Hashem, who restores souls to the dead body. Blessed are you, Lord of God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves in the words of the Torah. Blessed are you, Lord of God, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and implanted eternal life within us. Blessed are you, Hashem, giver of the Torah. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Luchuno, Adonai Chad, and you are to love Adonai your God with all your heart and all your being and all your resources. These words which I am ordering you today are to be on your heart, and you are to teach them carefully to your children. You are to talk about them when you sit at home, when you are traveling on the road, when you lie down, and when you get up. Tie them on your head hand as a sign, put them at the front of a headband around your forehead, and write them on the door frames of your houses and on the gate on your gates. So if you listen carefully to my misvote, which I am giving you today, to love that night your God, and serve him with all your heart and all your being. Then says Adonai, I will give your land its rain at the right seasons, including the early fall rains and the late spring rains, so that you can gather in your wheat, new wine, and olive oil, and I will give your fields grass for your livestock, with the result that you will eat and be satisfied. But be careful not to let yourselves be seduced so that you turn aside serving other gods and worshiping them. If you do, the, uh, the anger of Adonai will blaze up against you. He will shut the, up the skies so that there will be no rain. The ground will not yield its produce, and you will quickly pass away from the good land Adonai has given you. Therefore, you are to store up these words of mine in your heart and in all your being. Tie them on your hand as a sign. Put them at the front of a headband around your forehead. Teach them carefully to your children. Talking about them when you sit at home, when you are traveling on the road, when you lie down and when you get up, and write them on the door frames of your house 
and on your gates so that you and your children will live long on the land Adonai swore to your ancestors that he would give them for as long as there is sky above the earth. Adonai said to Moshe, Speak to the people of Israel, instructing them to make through all their generations zilk on the corners of the garments and to put with the zizit on each corner a blue thread. It is to be a zizit for you to look at and thereby remember all of Adonai's misvolt and obey them so that you won't go around wherever your own heart and eyes lead you to prostitute yourselves, but it will help you remember and obey all my misvolt and be holy for your Adonai. I am Adonai your God, you who brought you out of the land of Egypt in order to be your God. I am Adonai your God. Blessed are you, Lord of God, King, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to wrap ourselves in zizit. Blessed are you, Lord of God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to put on Teflon.